Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm gonna give a demonstration about a gel fan. What is a gel fan and how it works? So uh, to start with, we need to go to agilefan.com. Over here, it's uh, as you can see, it's free for five users. So you can just click sign up and create an account. It's pretty much self-explanatory. You can just email your enter your email address and sign up. It's just like opening in any account, email account or anything. But I already have my account, so I'm just gonna go ahead and log in with my user ID and password. And I'm in. Okay, this is the main uh, dashboard or my work page. Over here it shows all the work that belongs to a particular uh, user, whoever logs in. So right now I'm logging as a administrator. This is my admin email address and this is showing all the tasks that I have created and assigned to me. So um, to start with, I we need to create how a gel fan work is like. So and you have a product. So over here, if you could click go to new, you will see you have product, project, project, and iteration and story. So the main level is a product. The product is the top of the hierarchy level. With under product. So badging is my product. So under badging, I have stories. Stories can be divided into two categories. Epic stories, which are the bigger stories, and sub-stories. So product, production, environment is my epic story. Under epic stories, I have sub-stories like secure domain, install WordPress, install configuration, install ba configure badge OS, register and configure credly, so these are my sub stories. How to create stories and sub stories? You just create story button and you just type in something. So this becomes your epic story. Now you create another one and save and then you just simply drag and drop it under this one and then this one becomes your sub story and this is your epic story. I'm gonna delete this one because I already have mine um, story so to delete this just gonna click and just say delete okay okay I'm gonna do the same thing with this one I'm just gonna delete it so right now I have my three stories. Now I need to build. So product product has stories and the same times product has projects. So these epic stories epic stories will be assigned to a project, and project will have projects are more like releases. So a product has stories and the same time projects projects are like releases you assign stories to projects then projects have iterations then you assign the sub stories to the iteration so let's go ahead and look into a project so to create a project I'll just um, go to badging this is the top level of my hierarchy so I'm just gonna create and click new and click project and then enter the information to create a project so if you um, mention that you want a project to be badging then the project will appear under badging so right now I have my product is badging I have created project A and project B project A let's click on project A let's see so over here I have two stories that I have assigned to project A which is production environment and alpha environment and how I did that I went to badging and then from badging I just um, clicked the production over here and you see project 
project and product. So in product uh, badging, your main stories, you click the card and when you say project A, this production environment automatically gets assigned to project A and then you can click alpha and you mention project A, this alpha will get automatically assigned to project A and then in, if you click this one, see uh, the project over here is project B so it automatically gets assigned to project B. So now when you click on project A you go and uh, you see two stories, main stories, which is production environment and alpha environment. And another thing is like when you click on the epic stories and you select project and you have sub stories under the epic story, it's gonna ask you like, do you also want to move the sub stories to project A? Just click yes and move the, all the stories, sub stories to project A. So now you have project A and B. With uh, subs with epic stories assigned to them. Now let's go ahead and create iterations. Iterations are in the, for projects. A projects can have multiple iteration, one or two. So right now over here, I have two iteration for project A, production environment iteration and alpha environment iteration. I'll just create click on uh, production environment iteration, and these are all the sub stories that got assigned. So once again it's the same process, I'll go to project and over here instead of selecting epic stories I'm just going to expand and click on the sub story and over here iteration I'm going to click on iteration and I'm over here I'm going to just, it's a drop down or you can type in, I just selected it's a drop down menu. So I'm just going to select production environment iteration over here and how I created the iteration actually um, I went to create and over here I select the iteration and then name of the iteration project leave so you have to over here you have to mention the project name so over here I select I wrote project A so it's automatically got assigned to project A start date end date if you want to give description I'm just going to cancel out because I have already created my iteration so that's how you create an iteration and then you click on the project and then you go and and select your sub stories that you want to assign to iteration. So right here, I just assigned this uh, project A sub stories to production environment iteration just by clicking there and just mentioning. So if I want to add production environment iteration, I can do that. But if I want to add it to alpha, like I can select. So just to show you, I'm not going to do anything. Change, not going to change anything. So. Once you click on each individual sub stories and assign an iteration to these sub stories, then you will have uh, you this all these sub stories are gonna sh be shown in the uh, iteration when you click on iteration. So let's go and click on iteration production environment iteration. So that's how I assigned all the um, sub stories to the iteration. And over here, I will expand and I will click create task and I will create a task. And basically, it's just created, name the task, start, not started, and who, and then put hours like you have to put seven and for hour, hour to say how many hours left. And then just hit cancel. I'm just going to cancel because I've already created my task. So once you have created a task, and I'm just going to show another thing, so who. So you can assign your task, so just click on who. Right now I have the admin, my user ID assigned to it. If I want, I have also assigned lead and developer to this task. So you just can click over here and there will be a drop down menu of users. You can choose whoever user you want to assign the task to. So that's that. I'm just going to cancel this. And then uh, this is how you create tasks. So once you have created task, assign the user, whoever is going to work with this task. So for this example, task key has been assigned to dev, lead, and admin. And this task B has been assigned to dev, lead, and admin. So uh, basically you have to create users and assign whoever user you want to assign this task to and put hours, how many hours are expected. 
so right now I have pretty much assigned the task to admin I'll click on my work and over here it's gonna show all the tasks that I have created and have assigned to myself and these are the tasks that have a story and over here this stack shows tasks without story so let's see say for example I have this tasks all this task assigned to me and I have already done this task J task K is in progress and task L is pending and these are all the status of the state of the task so right now I want to as in once I'm done with the task I just click our spend and say for example this one is in progress I'll just click our spend one of these buttons and then I will say one hour spent and left is zero because one hour was expected so I'm just gonna do save and close and then this task is now completed so I'm gonna change the state from in progress to ready but not done the difference between ready and done is this task is ready and now it's, I'm gonna finish the other task in the story and once all the tasks are finished for a particular story then it's gonna be done once it's done this task will be removed from here for example put black letter on canvas and if I say that this is done then this will be marked as done to the story but however I'm not done with all the tasks in the stories so this is alpha environment iteration so let's go to my alpha environment see this one is ready this one is ready and this is alpha this is pending and I wanna pick a task that I haven't uh, selected yet so let's go to looks like all the alpha environment tasks I have selected and I'm currently working on it or done or pending something but I wanna assign myself a task a new task so I'll go and go to production environment task G so this task I haven't assigned to myself so I'm just gonna drag and drop this task over here and put it at the top and it's just assign myself a new task and then I'm just gonna say uh, put the status as in progress and I'll just leave our spend our spend I'm gonna update the hour spend once it's done and then um, basically it's it's just like that. You select a task, you drop and drag on the queue and say change the state to in progress ready and then change the hours. For example, if I'm done with this task, I'm just gonna click over here and spend. I'm just gonna say I spent say let's spend more hours on this task. I'm gonna say three hours spent and then zero left. And I'm just gonna click save and I'm gonna say that this close this and then I'm gonna say that this task is in it's the ready state so this is how you assign tasks to yourselves and like show update the status of the sub story and like how many hours you spent and everything and then you can also prioritize your tasks so right now I have prioritized alpha by drag bringing the top so if my priority is secure a domain in the production environment I can just simply drag and drop it up here to show that this is my most uh, important task this is my number one priority right now so that's how you can set the priorities just by clicking it and dragging it and dropping and bringing it to the top you set the priority so this is my number one priority this is my number two priority that's how you set priority so once when you work here when you like say spent hour three like when you mention when you update information over here this information automatically reflects back in the iteration so now let's go back to project production environment iteration over here it's gonna give you a burn down chart effort left original estimate 32 
story points, 80, value, zero, spent effort, three. So all the informations are gonna are getting updated over here simultaneously. So which is a very good uh, feature. And it gives you the production environment, iteration, burn down chart and everything, all the statistics gets updated over here. So uh, this is basically Agile Fant and uh, you can create users by going to users and just over here say create a user I'm gonna create a user for my professor so I already did that I'm just gonna send a show how to do it so I'm just gonna say name type a name like uh, X name and then enter email address initials and just say you can say that this person is uh, gonna be an administrator or not you can assign team by clicking here whatever team or present you can just select one and then say it's gonna be in the badging team or admin team or both team I'm just gonna cancel I'm not gonna create any user right now because I already have three users so then you can go to team and when you click team you can have users assigned to this team so in, right now the admin team has only admin assigned to it and the badging report team it's a new team so you can create team and assign users to a particular team so like right just like that just create team type the name of the team you can select users who all you want so right now you have one two three you can assign team to a team or you can assign individual user to a team and then cancel you can say grant them all access to products grant them access to all standalone iterations so you can select the options over here and then you have access so access pretty much it's uh, the product you have and you can select the team that you want to assign to them so right now I have for badging I have the badging project team assigned to badging so it's just a drop down menu click here I don't want to select admin team I'm just gonna cancel and then for example I have the ex admin uh, team assigned to example product but if I want I can select and add badging team to the example uh, product so in example product both the admin team and the badging project team can access the information and change the data and everything in the example product and then there is new product so uh, that's how you create users team and give access to team for a particular product and that's pretty much it for uh, Agile fan, that's how you create product stories and then assign, create projects and then assign stories, epic stories to a project and then create iterations and then assign sub stories to iteration and then assign tasks to yourself and update the information about tasks over here, which in turn shows uh, up in the backlog, product backlog. When you click on iteration, you will see. Uh, all the barn down chart and statistics on the left hand side and the right hand sides so it gives you much more information of where the, the how, what's going on so tax done is 40 percent complete right now for alpha environment duration so that's how it shows information about your project thanks for watching hopefully this is gonna help someone who wants to get started with uh, agile fan thanks for ha watching have a wonderful winter break thank you